everybody. Uh, welcome to VW Life today. We're going to do something that uh, seems like it needs to be done. Uh, I was putting carpet in old spot a couple months ago. I just was struggling because I'd never yeah. put carpet in a beetle before. And the kits have a lot of pieces and it's just kind of a little bit on the confusion side. Yeah. So today we're going to show you how to put carpet in a 63 beetle. Should pretty much be the same for all, right? Yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty close. Yeah. This, uh, this episode is for a, just a how to put carpet in your VW beetle. So stick with us. We're going to go step by step and show you what we got going on. Join us today. All right, so we have two kits here. We have the rear carpet kit, and then which is covers up, you know, your your rear uh, area, your uh, partial, partial area, tray. partial tray area. And then this is the uh, this is a deluxe carpet kit set here. These are TMI sets. You know, pretty much uh, everybody's are pretty standard in that regard. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna set them out so you give you an idea of what we're looking at. So watch this. That's definitely uh, yeah. That goes up. That goes like this. So what we have, this is a really nice complete kit. The nice thing about this is it's already pre-cut. Look, it's already cut for uh, the heater vents, your shifter, uh, e-brake, and then even your uh, seat belt. So this is what would be consistent of the front set here of carpet. You can see this, what's it, a uh, seven piece or eight piece? Yeah. Seven, right? Seven piece front, and then in the the rear, as we said, is not, this covers the rear fenders, and then this covers the rear parcel tray area up to where your uh, fi firewall up goes up to the back and where you have your uh, headliner just goes in. So this is really this is really a, a really nice kit from TMI right here. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna get everything prepped on the inside. We wanna get your beetle, you wanna if it any like old residue, uh, glue, dirt, leaves, anything like that. You, obviously you want that all removed. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start from the front and we go back. So you got your firewall piece, then your two front uh, lower quarters where your vents are, then your rockers, okay? Then we'll go in and put our two center pieces in, then we'll move to the back. So this we're doing the front firewall and we're gonna do a, just to see how it fits. A rough fitment. It. Yeah. So you and got over your, there, it's missing because you have your your foot rest. Your foot, yeah. Your foot. And you have a cut out here for your um, steering column. So that's a nice fit. Yeah. Some of that split already. It's split to go around. Yeah. There. So that's a that's that's gonna fit good. And and don't worry how it, see how it kind of like eh, 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 it doesn't because you have that coming out like that, but. Um, It'll all just mush down really nicely when you get it glued and you just hold it in place. So we're ready to glue that in. You have your choices on uh, adhesive. 3M can't go wrong. Uh, Super 77. I would. This is general trim adhesive. That would work too for lightweight and carpet. All the all, most all these are really good. You can get them at your local flaps or something like that. So your local what? Flaps. Friendly local auto parts store. Huh. All right. So this kit that we have is from a 65 and a 67 Beetle kit. Pretty much the same. What we have to do is we got to cut a couple of holes in it. One for the uh, uh, headlight beam, high beam uh, foot peg on that. We have to change that one. So this is actually a 67 kit. And then uh, we have to also put a hole in for the heater knob on the uh, tunnel. So we're going to do that real quick. So that's pretty close. Yeah, that's really close. That's good. That mark is just to tell you we need to be on this side of that hole. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Up there. So we're cu we're cutting the carpet out for the dimmer switch, and we may decide to singe the carpet a little bit, just so it doesn't fray fray or anything like that. Those so we decided it's got to go different. It's uh, not front to back. It's got to be yeah, um, these fender first. wells first. See how we have an unfinished edge here? It's got to hide behind this finished edge that's mm -hmm. on the front. So this will come out. We'll spray these in. So see, that's a that's a very good point. What Martin brings up. See, this is not a finished edge here. So this gets tucked under the finished edge that you have there. So that's a very good point right there. That you get. So, and some kits may be different, yeah. but you always want the, the unfinished edge where you have the like sewn over edge. Yeah. You, so we got it fitted or just kind of roughed in there. Cause it's gonna tuck all in there. So we need to cut this little intersection out to expose the heater. Run this beaded edge on there. They usually let it overrun. And we don't want that sitting around inside the car, so. The last thing we want it to do is fray. Too late. So now we don't have any more fraying. Ah, I'm afraid not. We're cutting. We're cutting out the holes for the heaters because this car actually has heater boxes. But if you don't run heat, if you're running J tubes or something, you can just 
leave it, just leave it in place. So this is what we normally use, the Permatex. And you said we used one that wasn't a good can, but... Yeah, look at that. See how it does that webbing? And it binds really good. But it's almost out. Yeah. Alright. Jay. Okay. Okay. So just pull more. It's, it overlaps. It's gonna overlap. Oh, it's already sticking. It's already sticking. Keep going a little more. Right there. I think we're good right there. Okay, you good? It, See how go, it goes underneath that, right? That lip? So yeah, go down. It, it goes yeah, down. It goes like, underneath that lip. Like that. Pull down. Ooh. See, we're too high. We're too high. It's pretty good. Tucks in there. There we go. Look. Look at that. Look at that. Uh oh, behind the thing here. Yeah, just pull it. Here, let it loose a little bit. Pull it some loose. Okay, let's pull it just a little bit. Let's see if we can get it just a bit. Uh -huh. You can get it to it'll tuck in. So you get sometimes you get little wrinkles, but it's alright. That looks good. So you're saying we need to get him some acrylic pieces? Well, uh, the key is, is you uh, you want to get a good good fit around your vents, so it looks nice and square there around your vents. And uh, some people come back in and put carpet tacks here, carpet I guess it'd be nails, the carpet, nail carpet nail. nails in, and uh, so you certainly uh, can do that. But if you use a good this good yeah. glue, that's going to hold it. But the only reason you would use carpet uh, nails here is because your foot would catch this yeah. and if it's nailed in it's not going to pull it back but now we're, we're just in the test fitting it again since we put the side panels in to make sure that our hole for that oh, it's looking good guys no, that's good. It changes things up doesn't it yeah okay so we got the uh, firewall glued in and then the carpet so we're going to come in and start over on the left side where we have the uh dimmer switch, the dimmer switch peg button Let him get that side set in nicely before we even start anywhere else. Okay. I kind of like that. So we're holding this side back a little bit. He'll get that side tucked in. Okay. Right there on that corner. I got the corner covered. Looks good. So we're going to start moving in this way. Tucking it in up here around the roof. <laughs> you got some of these uh, body bolts. You gotta kinda go underneath those, see that? So you take that into consideration there. And you don't have to fit too tight around that. Yeah. You kinda, and there's so much glue on this thing, it ain't gonna go anywhere. No. And you'll see there's like little, some give in there because there's some cavity behind there, but your feet aren't up there. And this isn't really glued right here much because you eventually have to pull this up to access your... Yeah, if you have to get in there and yeah. do some... So next up are the rockers. And if you're lucky, like we are here, these things are still in one nice piece, okay? So you want to pry them up with a nice big spatula blade like that. You can see what we're doing. Martin's getting underneath that. Apparently not a pry bar. Do not use a pry bar, no, because see what happened over there where you used a pry bar? See how it unevened it? So you use a big spatula blade like that to get it up because the carpet actually tucks underneath there. A lot of times, uh, the carpet, is there's probably some gunk under there, Martin's. You might want to clean it really good. We, we raise it up. Yeah, he's killing some of the gunk off of there, so you get a good adhesive. Because obviously this takes a big, uh, with your feet rubbing in and out on the footwell there. Go big, Gary. Big. You gotta go way bigger than this. Because the, the, the beating on the edge of it is really high. Yeah. Yeah, there's some old carpet in there. But we are so fortunate. Yeah, see, there's some old... Right yeah. No glue, and you're just gonna go through and kind of get that that fat lip in there. Because a fat lip tucked underneath the metal is actually what helps hold the carpet. Yeah. That it's since it's finished like that. And so then we'll hammer it down. We got a piece of wood right here, so we don't kink. See how it's nice and tight everywhere. Yep. So you just push that in nicely. And that's, that's a thing that's sometimes confusing to people. So you make sure you put that lip in like that underneath that. And then we come in with a nice piece of wood and you just, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Much better. It's 
the there's a little slit here cut in the carpet for that little rail seat rail and so you get a nice look at that nice fit now we're going to come in and, and just really glue this nicely and you see it has kind of it channels kind of under it goes like this and kind of goes concaves in so when you do that you really want to when you're doing this, you really want to suck your carpet in with your fingers. See how it goes, see my pinky fingers? See how it goes down? Now it's time to apply adhesive. Look at that good new can. Oh, so nice. Got it. It's yellow. So it's a little bit up in here. I'm gonna protect our car. So see, it's all tucked on tight right here. You just wanna make sure it fits tight with everything. Now it's good, now the other side. Okay, now we're putting in the rear fenders so uh, look, carpet. And so, when you look at it, Yep. see how it has this extra little kick up hump? That's right here. And it just lays in. It just lays in. And normally, some people put insulation back here, but we dynamatted this whole car, so. Yeah, there's padding that you could get a padding kit, and you can put a padding kit in here, but we since we dynamatted it, the padding is basically for sound deadening an old school way. You can do this. If you put padding in, though, it does give it a little more fuller look too. So, but that's well, that's, it's, that's optional. That's what we're hitting right here. Look. So it's in. Yeah. Does that look all right to you? Yeah, that's pretty much the way it goes. Because it's gonna. It, that's why we're getting bunching. Yeah, because it doesn't have the padding. Padding in it. So we're we got. Still happy with how it looks. Yeah. So we got like a little crease there. You know, they're not perfect. Yeah, case. and we're not using the padding. You're going to see that a little bit. So what we did, we slid it and just laid it, laid it over. It's going to be behind the seat, but you're not going to see it. Ever. You don't even see it. But now it's a nice flat. It's easier to do when you have two guys, of course. How does that look? Nope. Oh. Yeah, we need to come back. There you go, right there. We're just gonna see that. I'll have to fix that. Uh, that little bit there. Yeah, it's fine. It's it's try fitting that piece first. So what we're doing is we're not getting a. Come, come right. Th that get that corner right there. Right there. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's it. See so yeah, how that piece just shows a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now we're going on the back carpet, the uh, the top part. This is there's different versions. Again, this one goes all the way up to the window. We're going to bring it down just a smidgen, so it just doesn't in case the seal wicks or something like that. So we're coming down a little bit. It's going to be a two person job because you want it to be very straight oh, you know as it goes all the way. So this has the curve as you saw before. This has the curve on the front, and in original cars they didn't go up to here. They're actually supposed to tuck into this firewall lip. So what we did is we cut back the headliner. And we've actually flipped the carpet and now we're just going to actually stuff it in there so it looks like this and that's og for 63. we're supposed to be looking and then the, the curve will just be under the carpet under the seat so you won't see it yep so now we're just going to pound it in there and we'll come back in and yeah then lift yep. up and spray all the glue and we should be done there you go it's, it's gonna jam be, it's just going to take off but see how that's going to hold it in nicely too and v that's the way vw had it, it has that lip there on the firewall we got it all tucked and done. Now we're going to glue it. We don't want to move it too much, though, because I don't want it pulling yep. up or something. The nozzle's a little fogged up. What? Oh my, you got to redo it. That's good. Done. Oh, my God. That looks good. And this just drapes and hangs. Mm -hmm. All right, looking really good. That's the back piece of carpet in. And the side, the fenders are in. We cut the little slots here to put the uh, for the... Seat belts. So the only thing else in it is now is to do to lay in the uh, flooring. 
So now we're putting in the rear carpet kit. Kind of lining it, see where we want it. I think that's good right there. Yeah, your hole's good. Uh, where's my hole? Yep. My hole's dead on. Here, maybe uh, put your hand here on top. Here, here maybe. Like hold it in place. Right here. And then I'll lift up. God, that looks good. Yeah, this is it's very nice. This car's coming along. Good to get it down to here. Yeah. So I think we're good. Okay. All right, maybe just gotta tuck in under here. Yeah, yeah. Right there. Let me make sure it's right there. It's, it's, it's a little tab that holds the uh, kick panel in, the rear seat kick panel. There you go. Okay. All right, top of the panel too, I can do that. Now at the last second. Okay. okay, let's tuck, do the tuck here first. Now I just fold it under. Mm -hmm. Shove it in. Let's see here. I'm stuck already. Look. Yeah, I didn't think about it. There you go. That's it. What's going on here? Weird, huh? Mm hmm. It's alright, though. That's good. That's good. That looks good. It's alright. Okay. I think it looks good. Yeah, that looks good. So we're fitting the last piece of carpet in, but we have to figure out how to do it around that. What? Yeah, so this is a, a 63 in the carpets for later models, so don't cut your finger. Genius. Is that a hole? All right, we need some matches. They're behind you. All right, let's see. Okay, go. Start laying it down. There you go. Yep. Nope. You got to slit it more no, or something. Oh, that's close. It's good. Look at that. Yep. That looks good. The tunnel carpet goes underneath it. Okay, and then this tunnel piece lays right on top, just like that. So what we gotta do is just bring it across and let it fall in there. What a dead ass thing. But that's good. So weird. Okay, we're good. You gotta pull. We gotta pull. We gotta. We gotta twist it. Yeah. There you go. That's better. You gotta. Sometimes you have to do little cuts just to get it to fit perfect. Little slits are okay as long as you glue it back down good. You see you a nice, it. nice finish like this. That's good. Looks really good. I'm all the way up, pretty much. Okay. And the balloon is blind. Yeah, you're good. I think it's in. Let's go down slow. <coughs> oh my God! I got a whiff of that stuff. All right. Oh, okay. we're way too high. All right, I spread four. Let's go. With, yeah, let's go. With, let's go in the tunnel. Tuck. Oh, don't tuck it too tight. Nope, sure. Yeah, because look, it's pulling. Okay. I'm going to lay it flat out. Okay. Because look, it's pulling. Okay. I think it looks good just like that. Oh, look at that. All right, so, Zacto one more time, oh, maybe? That look good. Got it. Got it. Done. Okay, everybody. Well, thanks for joining us today. Uh, we put in this carpet kit. Like I said earlier, when I was putting in the kit, an old spot, I just was trying to find a couple of videos that kind of gave it more of a step-by-step. -step. And I uh, I hope that this uh, allow you guys to kind of not be afraid of putting a carpet kit in and kind of show you a few of the little nuances and things like that. Uh, the whole key is just to uh, find a guy's nice place in the shade, take your time. I have a couple of nice sharp uh, X-Acto blades or razor blades and make sure you have really good uh, adhesive. That's a big thing too. Maybe, you know, get you two cans. That way you don't, you don't want to run out in the middle of the project. But this kit I'm very pleased with as far as the TMI. Martin did magic back there on the back. Uh, this is more of a universal kit. So this is probably what you would run into sometimes. I, I, I think it looks good guys what do y'all yeah. think yeah i think the back turned out really good cutting it and stuffing it like the original yeah it looks really really good it's it's it adds a lot to your to the inside of your beetle and it's not something not to be afraid of it is a i wouldn't say it's a major project but it's not an e it's an easy thing you just a patience thing so we're hoping that uh there's a little more of a step-by-step -step procedure that we went through today i hope you guys 
uh, on uh, carpets. So tell your friends and tell everybody about uh, putting in a carpet kit and everything like that. Thanks for joining us on VW Live today.